So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Pisces. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you detach from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for Pisces. So we have love interests. So you could be someone's love interest. You could be another person's love interest. They're viewing you as like new love energy. This could be someone who has developed new emotions um, for you. And they're like deep in their emotions. Now, whoever this person is that view you as a love interest, there could be some type of secret competition. Somebody could be secretly competing with you or there could be like somebody secretly competing with that person that views you as their love interest. But whoever the person is that's secretly competing, if this is like an ex, this is someone who refuses to move on what they need to move on. It's like they want to have another person stuck, whether it's this love interest, their ex, or someone that you're no longer attached to, your ex. But somebody is definitely secretly competing with someone's love interest. So if you're viewing another person as a love interest, this could be an ex that's competing with that person. Um, if this person views you as a love interest, their ex is competing with you. We have the Empress. So if this is someone that was like an ex to you, this person is someone who felt like um, you and them had been attached to each other for a long time. They never expected for you to call like judgment. They never expected for you to um, like call judgment over your life. Wake up to reality. Wake up to the fact that this is just someone that you could have been investing in, um, working hard to build with. And it did not come into, um, nothing came into fruition. You weren't able to manifest with that person. It's like investing in things, working hard, and you're not seeing any rewards. They never expected for you to realize this. They never expected for you to come up with a solution to overcome. Um, this could be energy that you were in, energy that you felt, emotions that you felt, um, that you felt like you just needed to release. This could be emotional pain, trauma. And if they thought that they would be able to keep you stuck by um, secretly competing with another person or um, trying to stay attached to you, trying to keep up with whatever it is that you have going on, This person feels like they invested a lot of time in trying to keep you stuck and they have not gotten anywhere. It did not work. And this is definitely going to help that person to come into reality. Or a major wake up call for them so that they can move forward. Yeah, they've watched you grow. It's like they've watched you take action towards a lot of things that they didn't expect for you to accomplish. Um, they feel like you've evolved. Yeah. They feel 
feel like you've evolved and they feel like you're like manifesting a, um, a happy relationship, a friendship with someone. Someone that's going to support your good. It's like you're attracting a like-minded type of energy because you chose to change the energy that you were in, the energy that you allowed around you. Now, they've also been watching, hoping to reunite with you, reconcile with you. This could be someone who wants forgiveness. Because they thought that they were going to be able to, like, get back in a connection, a relationship with you. But well, we have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. It was time for you to walk away from things that don't serve purpose in your life. Things that have only hindered this evolution. You're starting to see your hard work pay off. You're able to focus on yourself, appreciate yourself, focus on your health. And this could be physical health, mental health. Yeah, but you realize you had to leave that person behind. This is someone that's afraid of you coming together with a like-minded person and building something with them. Because whatever you were trying to build with this ex, it took a long time for you to realize this is just someone that is not for you. You can't build with that person. Yeah, we have the hermit. And if you realize that this was some type of lesson, this could have been a karmic lesson, a karmic cycle that you were in um, that you needed to close out in order to walk into a new cycle. You isolated yourself. You took time out being single. You didn't focus on a relationship again. And um, or at that time, you weren't focused on a relationship. You could also be someone that's celibate. Um. You're not attached to anyone. You're not looking to get in a relationship. You've just been doing a lot of soul searching. Meditating. And listening to your inner voice. It's like you're doing things more carefully. You're taking time, taking the steps. You're understanding why um, something took a long time, especially if you were not aware you weren't using your intuition you made a decision to not allow your past to define your future staying stuck in the past was only going to keep you stuck, slow you down. Have you in the energy of regret? Feeling like a failure. Yeah, you just wanted to be left alone. Um, but this person felt like you were going towards another person or you had interest in another person. Even if you did, your intentions were not to just jump into a connection or a relationship with anyone. They could have seen that you were building a friendship with someone and they just did not want it. They didn't want this to lead to a relationship with the three of cups and the four of wands. Yeah, it's like you chose to isolate. And it's like when you're fully ready to be in another connection, um, attach yourself to like-minded people, get to know people that um, share the same interests as you. 
that's when you'll do so. But it's like you went through this lesson, so you're able to use that discernment. So when that time comes, you're able to discern what's healthy for you and what's not. When to let your guard down um, as well. Yeah, it's like you needed to heal before you could develop another connection with someone else. Before you were a would be able to give another person what they expect from you or receive whatever you expect and truly desire from another person. And this could be in a friendship or a relationship, take it where it resonates. But somebody did not want you to develop a friendship, a relationship. They just wanted you to be isolated. They wanted you to um, not be in this nine of pentacles energy. They didn't want you to focus on being single, gaining the strength and the courage to believe in yourself and completely walk away with the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups. Yeah, it's like they didn't realize that this was some type of karma. They, This is someone, if this was a relationship, this is someone that expected to sit back and like watch you do all of the work. And they felt like they would be rewarded for your hard work, whatever it is that you're doing. But it's like you had to realize whatever you were investing in, how hard you were working, being attached to this type of energy, you weren't going to get anywhere. You weren't going to be able to see any growth or abundance. You could not prosper with this person because it's like this is all they were interested in. This could be someone that was very codependent to you financially, physically, emotionally. And it's like if you showed a lot of um, genuine love to this person, supported that person, you cared about that person, um, they took it for granted. They never wanted you to see that the, those things are the things that you needed to be putting into yourself. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself, supporting yourself building yourself up instead of trying to build on something that was um a waste of time this was blockages like that person was a blockage and they never expected for you to block them off um gain control or maintain this type of control but you did this for your protection Yeah, you did this for your protection. And it's like during this time, you also took and you pushed yourself beyond your usual limits. You pushed yourself harder than what you were pushing yourself trying to build with this person. Yeah. Yeah. This drive, this ambition, um, this new energy that you're in, it's like you're leading yourself to the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're working hard on now, whatever you're building, it's for the long term. It's like you're setting out a solid and stable foundation for your future. You've completely changed your image. You've completely changed um, the way you view yourself. You could definitely be um, someone who has found yourself if you felt lost with this person. Yeah, it's like something that you said to this person. This could be about someone, a potential love interest. This is what made them want to like slow you down or have you stuck. Because they felt like 
this person is someone that is like made for you. They were visualizing you and that person coming together, building together, working together. And they didn't like it. And as I say, if this isn't you who went through this, this could be this love interest, the person that views you as a love interest. They could have had someone on their end secretly trying to compete with you um, because this person blocked them completely off. They went hermit. They could have also ghosted that person, just stopped talking to them, communicating with them. And they knew about you. Like they knew you were this person's secret crush, their love interest, a karmic partner is here. And if it wasn't you or this person, it could have been both. You could have dealt with a karmic soulmate. They could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate. But they have been trying endlessly to like, keep you stuck, keep that person stuck. And they're watching. We have untrustworthy. Somebody lied in a legal situation. So somebody is being seen as someone that cannot be trusted. If this person lied in a legal situation um, because you walked away from them and they felt like this would have you stuck, it didn't stop you from walking away. Um, it didn't do nothing but make you want to push yourself to the limit. Push yourself to unusual limits. As I say, work harder than what you were working. It kind of motivated you, encouraged you. It gave you a lot of strength and it helped you to see that you made the right decision by going in solitude, protecting yourself, blocking off your energy. They didn't think they would get caught now, if this wasn't someone that you were attached to and they wanted to have you stuck and they felt like if they lied in a legal situation, um, this would have you stuck to them or something like that. This could have been a divorce. This could have been involving children or something like that. If not, this could have been this love interest, whoever they were attached to, the person that was secretly competing with you, they felt like Lying in a legal situation would like make you look bad, make you be seen as someone that was unfit. You could not be trusted. Um, and they didn't think they would get caught. Like this was a part of trying to, with the lovers being here, make another person feel like they have to choose between two people. They would be behind the scenes, creating a lot of illusions, confusion, um, to have that person looking at you a certain way and then looking at them. And it would make them want to go back towards them. This didn't work. Whatever this legal situation was, something was made fair. It's like you came out on top. Something was balanced out. Yeah, somebody was out for revenge when you exposed the truth. They got upset and they thought that moving strategically, like behind the scenes, they wouldn't get caught. Now, with they were out for revenge when um, you exposed the truth, this could have been an ex. That person could have got upset because not only they didn't expect for you to walk away, but they didn't want you to expose the truth about them. And if you were talking about why you decided to separate from that person, they didn't want people to know. Now, if this was somebody that was secretly competing with you, their love interest, uh, I mean, um, the person that knew that they view you as a love interest. Something came out about this person. 
something you could have said It was like dead on about them and they didn't want this person to believe it. So they felt like lying in a legal situation would make you look bad. But this would place them on a pedestal and they would win some type of secret competition. Yeah, this person would look at them as someone that, you know, they should be in a relationship with. They should go back towards. We have change, and then you have message. Whatever this legal situation is, this created a change that whoever was secretly competing did not see. It's like they're in despair. Now, this message, this could be proof. Like somebody could have came in with proof and exposed that these were lies in a legal situation or the person that they wanted to view them on a pedestal somebody told them about what was done behind the scenes yeah somebody came in and told them like hey they could have paid somebody to make false accusations in a legal situation They could have seen proof as well about somebody being paid. Yeah, and it's like they didn't expect for this change to motivate this person. Or they didn't expect for these lies to motivate that person to change. Like this is someone who had been working very hard on their self. And a lot of people see that this person that views you as a love interest is working hard on their self. They're staying to their self. This person is in a more healthier energy. This could be physically and mentally. It's like they're doing good for their self now that they're no longer attached to that person. You're doing good for yourself now that you're no longer attached to this person that you've walked away from. A lot of people admire your maturity, the way that you handled this situation, even though there were false accusations or lies. Yeah, it's like you came out on top. You're more, you're worth more than I let on. So whoever this love interest is, this is someone that's in love with you. They could have acted as if they did, they weren't interested. Um, they definitely acted as if they did not care. They did not have any emotions for you. Yeah, this is someone who is realizing the mistakes that they made. So if they're seeing that there was another person like secretly competing with you um, to try to get them to come back towards them or just have them confused if they were still attached to that person at this time that they were secretly competing. They could have told that person that they weren't interested in you or something like that. Like this is someone who could have seen you and that person communicating. This could be through text messages, this could be online. And they acted as if they didn't care. They acted as if they didn't have any interest toward you, but they're secretly in love with you. The person that they were attached to, they knew. Now they're realizing the mistakes that they made. This is someone who could be someone that's not expressive. Like they don't know how to express their emotions. They, they're comfortable with hiding them versus expressing them.
And they're realizing if they wouldn't have been um, in the energy of feeling as if they could not express themselves to this person, something wouldn't have happened. Things wouldn't have escalated the way that they did. Yeah, this is someone who's been trying to manifest you. They're ready to take their mask off. This person is holding on to memories of you and them. This could be um, them watching you on social media. They could have some type of pictures, videos, text messages in their phone. And they're constantly like watching them over and over, reminiscing. Yeah, I've been watching your social medias and admiring your pictures. This is someone who refused to let you go with, I can't let you go. So if they thought that they would be able to like keep hiding their emotions or act as if they did not care, they did not have any love for you, they're wishing that they wouldn't have did this because it's like it, it became intense. We have, I'm on my way to you now. I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. You're always on this person's mind. I'm also getting, if this is a situation where you are also dealing with someone that wanted to have you stuck, you started waking up. It's like you started seeing stuff that you didn't expect to. It's like once you open up to your intuition, start doing a lot of soul searching, you started seeing a lot of things. And um, this could be through dreams, visions. Or just your third eye. You're able to see past illusions. With the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups. You could have definitely been learning about spirituality. And as I say, whatever it is that you expose or said, this was true about the person that's secretly competing with you. And they didn't like the fact that you were able to have this knowing or, you know, find out what was hidden, use your intuition. Now, they thought they could turn your intuition off with some type of false accusations, people lying in a legal situation. Yeah, it's like somebody is stuck in guilt. Yeah, it's like they're stuck in guilt because the way that things didn't happen the way that they expected. It's like if this was supposed to bring a lot of tension, um, a lot of guilt to you, confusion, blockages, you were able to release whatever this was. It's like anything that you feel like is weighing you down, um, at that time, you were just walking away from. You weren't going to allow anything to have you confused. And it's like if this legal situation took place in your life when it happened, you already knew something was fishy. You already knew something. Somebody was out or after you for exposing the truth because it happened right after you exposed something that Somebody did not want to get out. And they felt like this would make whoever you expose the truth to not trust your word. 
Yeah, you have speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard. They didn't expect for you to speak out. They didn't expect for you to have a, a clear voice. Speak loud and clear. And it's like whatever you said to that person, it was just to make them aware of something that um, they could have already been having a gut feeling about. And the person that lied, they thought that you were going to try to like prove to that person whatever you said was true. You already know that you cannot change other people. So you weren't focused on changing that person's view of another person. You know that you can't change anyone but yourself. And it's like you learned that lesson being attached to whoever you've moved on from. Yeah. Your main focus is being your true authentic self. Being happy. Not letting anything exhaust you or have you all over the place. Yeah, somebody felt like they had to prove that you weren't telling the truth because they felt like you were going to prove to that person you were telling the truth. There was nothing you needed to prove. There was nothing that this secretly, this person that was secretly competing with you could prove to defame your character, make you look a circle, certain way, make you be seen as someone that was untrustworthy. There was nothing that they could do, but they didn't know this when they were doing this. Like this person got angry and they panicked. So they started doing a lot of things. Not realizing that they would eventually have to move forward and they were only like keeping their self stagnant. There was a choice that they would have to make when it's all said and done. We have your mind. So this person that views you as a love interest, this is someone who they feel like you're theirs. They want everyone to know that you're theirs. This is someone that gets pissed off knowing that other people um, are interested in you. They're watching you. They don't like that you're attracting um, the attention that you're attracting. And they're like stuck in guilt. Or this just has them deep in their emotions because they've never expressed the way that they feel about you. They've been hiding it. Yeah, I feel lost without you. This is someone who feels like you're their soulmate. You are a part of their destiny. You and them belong together. This is someone who is dreaming about you. You could be dreaming about this person. Yeah, the future. This is someone who daydreams about a future that they want to have with you. They daydream about building with you. Having um, long-term happiness. If this is someone that you share a spiritual connection with, um, this was just not the right time for you and that person to come together. It's like you were in the process of making changes in your life. 
growing and evolving after ending out a cycle. Being determined to make a difference. Being determined to be happy. And not allow yourself to feel stagnant, lost, stuck. Continue to do the same thing over and over again and getting the same results, not seeing anything different. Things are going to be turned into your favor. People that were against you all of a sudden will be for you. Ideals, creativity, promotion, contracts are going to come into your hands. So you have bigger and better experiences that are on the way. Doors are going to open for you. Opportunities are going to come for you. You may not be able to see it now, but you're manifesting this. Yeah, great things are coming together for you. Trust the process. Trust in your intuition. Allow things to unfold. Move at your own pace. And keep the mindset of knowing that things are going to work out um, the way that you want them to. Don't give up hope. Don't give up on yourself. 